How did Olivia de Havilland change the law and make legal history? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. When I heard of the passing of Olivia de Havilland the other day, I realized not only that she passed at an amazing age of 104 years, but also that she changed the law forever. When in 1943, Olivia decided to file a lawsuit against Warner Brothers, it was driven by the idea that the legal system was ready for a change. At that time, it was considered to be normal that actors were on loan or lease from different studios and that they were contracted only with one movie company. So in other words, if they didn't have anything to do for you, you could not go to a competing company, you could not work elsewhere and find a meaningful income. Olivia Helen filed this lawsuit and she won in this California Supreme Court in a victory which made the movie industry change their laws. Consequently, the legislator of California implemented a law which is now known as the De Havilland Law, which prevents a court from enforcing a specific performance contract in an exclusive personal service situation. So here, Olivia De Havilland made law not only for actors and actresses, but also for anybody who works in a specific performance environment. I wonder, and I'm reminded of a musing I did long, long, long time ago about the benefits of Silicon Valley, whether this specific performance law may have an impact on the success of Silicon Valley.